Joining me again today in my studio, I'm Janice Banner, and I'm so happy to be here with you for another drop-in art session online. Thank you again to Perry County Council of the Arts for continuing to sponsor the drop-in art program online for us this year. Today we're going to make a really fun, friendly little project inspired by autumn, and it's this cute little sweater kitten. So if you would like to learn how to make this little pet, you can join you very quietly while you work. Stay tuned. Here come the supplies for today's project. Today's project, you will need a piece of thin cardboard, uh, recycled cereal boxes worked perfectly for this, um, a jar if you'd like to have a template to trace, a ball of colorful yarn, a black marker or pen, a pair of scissors and some tape. To make our little sweater cat, first we are going to draw the body of our kitten. So I like to use the jar as a template so I can get a good circle because I'm not that good at freehanding circles. And then off of that, we want to just draw kind of an A-line shape for our cat's body. This doesn't have to be perfect. If you mess up, keep going. And then we're gonna make two up and down parallel lines. And this is gonna be the notch that we'll cut out in a little bit. But you don't wanna cut the whole way up to the neck. So you wanna leave a good amount between the head and where you will make your lines for your notches because this is gonna be the body of your cat. And then go ahead and add some ears for your kitty. And then I did this on the back of the packaging so that it didn't matter that I messed up my line here. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. So cut along your lines. Cut out your ear shape. And you can even change it a little bit as you cut. If you didn't like your lines, your lines can just be a guide so that you kind of know what you're doing. And then for the notches, we're gonna cut up in, but not the whole way up through. We just wanna cut partially up, and this will help make a little kickstand that will allow our kitten to sit up. So then we will fold that back and see how it can stand now. Whereas before, if it were just flat, it would fall over. So this allows it to have a little spot that it can make our kitten stand up. And it kind of looks like a little tail too. So now we're gonna add some facial details to our cat. So go ahead and draw a face on your kitten. You can do this with black or colorful markers, whatever you prefer. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a black marker to make some eyes and a fun little mouth for my kitten. And I'm gonna add a little freckle detail and some whiskers. And I'm also gonna color in my cat's ears because I like that look, but you can color it as much or as little as you want. So once you've made your kitten space, we're going to add its sweater for the holidays, for the fall. So you want your cat to be nice and snuggly, and they love being cozy warm. So we're going to make him or her a sweater. So let's tape down our yarn to the back near the neck at the top. And we're going to wrap and wrap and wrap until we get down here. And then I'll show you what we're going to do. So go ahead and wrap your yarn. You can add more than one color if you'd like. Uh, I just have orange today. I'm just making my kitten a very pumpkin-like sweater outfit. So just go ahead and wrap around with your yarn all the way until you get to the top of your notch. 
And then the trick here is we're gonna keep wrapping for a bit so we cover our little kitten in its sweater so it can stay nice and warm, but we're gonna take our yarn all the way down here. So that means we're gonna weave a little bit around this notch because we don't wanna tuck it down. So we need to go in and around. So let me show you that from the back. So instead of going over the top, we don't wanna do that. That will flatten our notch and our kitten won't be able to stand up. But, so what we're gonna do is come underneath of it and that allows the flap to still work. So keep wrapping and just make sure that you get your thread up underneath the notch so it's still free and but still around the front. See how my sweater is filling in? Keep going all the way to the bottom until your little kitten's paws stick out. And then once we've gotten that, don't pull too tight so your kitten can stand up here. Once we've gotten it all the way down to its feet, we'll go one more. Then we're just gonna tape it in place behind its leg to finish it off. Go ahead and just tape it to the back of one of the legs once you have your sweater as far down as you would like it or your kitten would like it. And there you have it. There is your little sweater kitten. How cute. And your parents can't complain about feeding this one. Zero maintenance. Thanks for joining me today, friends. Stay creative. Bye.